snappy opening. Oh, uh, that was a stupid opening, and it was a stupid speech. And it's a waste of valuable airtime, and I refuse to cover any more of these stupid barside chats. I could be home having a drink. Well, good night. <laughs> oh, still funny, still <laughs> funny, huh? So you think, so this is Joe Flaherty. He played, um, I guess you were Floyd Robertson. Floyd Robertson on that, yes. Yeah, you were yes. Floyd a lot, weren't you, on SCTV? Well, because Floyd Robertson was actually, most people don't know this, was Count Floyd. Yes, yeah, so as I say, That's you were... One and the same. Yeah, but you yeah. were, every time you turned around, the name Floyd was being used. Is well, it a name uh, you yes. love? Well, uh, Gene must have liked, he was Floyd the Barber, too, so... Yeah, we but must have found that name funny, Floyd, for some reason. But Floyd the Barber was a real character, so to speak, in yeah. Andy Griffith, wasn't he? Wasn't he the Barber? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah there was an impression he did. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. but it was, um, yes, we, we had to. Yes. <laughs> did I even ask you a question that required the answer? Yes. So you just keep saying yes. We might. Right, everything will be fine. Okay, I will. <laughs> You're in Vancouver doing Police Academy. Yes. The I series. do know. How did I know? Yeah. It is my business to know okay. everything. Yeah. No, gee. What character do you play? I play the Commandant, uh, his name is uh, Heffelfinger, mm. Stuart Heffelfinger, say it. Stuart Heffelfinger. <laughs> I actually know some people with the real name Heffelfinger. Oh, do you? Yes. What does it mean? It means something in G German, probably. Well, it does, and I'm sure it. that uh, Park Heffelfinger, who lives in Vancouver, will be calling me very, very soon now to tell me, <laughs> and perhaps you could phone right now. <laughs> On the set would be good, don't you think? Yeah, that'd be good to find out. That's yeah. an absolute real name, and there are lots of people around here with that name, so of course they're going to be horrified that you've used them. Yeah, well, top. <laughs> That's all I can. <laughs> so is this, uh, you've been here since April? Uh, yes, yes. It takes since an awfully April. long time to shoot a series, doesn't it? Well, yeah, a long time, mm. yes. But we're going to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> we, they told us to stay here until we get it right, and we are. Here's a bad question. I sure. Is it on the air yet? Uh, no, it's oh, not. Oh, good. Phew, because I was thinking, geez, I missed I had to wash my hair, and I, I missed it. <laughs> when will it go it's on the gonna air? It's going to go on uh, CTV. Uh, in January, I hear. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I hear. That's the word. Uh, but it's already playing on uh, on Turner on TBS, I think, uh, at odd hours like six in the morning and and and, and nine at night sometimes. Well received. Uh, critically. Yeah. Do you know people I, I watching it? I, yeah, people are watching it. Yes, but I don't know of uh, any uh, reviews that have come out on it. Do you, you read know? them? Even if you got them? No, I don't. What's Not the anymore. point? Oh, I know. Yeah. When they say nice things about you. You know, you tend to forget about it, and when they say bad things, you, uh, you never forget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got it like scratched in your arm <laughs> for in a, reference. Oh, oh. So yeah, I, I usually don't. No. Um, um, what's the worst review you ever got? Oh, lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, lately. I was actually unscathed for many years, but I'll tell you that uh, lately it's it's picked up uh, a lot. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, as the commandant, I mean, is it sort of like uh, what's it like? So you're you're are you a tough guy? No, no, I'm the uh, commandant, and I'm a little bit eccentric. I guess I'm very eccentric. Oh. Um, I'm I'm kind of out there. Um, we're still trying to find the character. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting journey with this guy, but. Um, He's a little bit, um, you know, he's a little scatterbrained, but at the same time, tough and loving. Well, he's not very tough. But it's hard not to he's reprise not other he's characters. <laughs> <laughs> nothing I think about it. He's, he's really not much of a guy at all. It's hard not to reprise a, a character, or um, you can't be Leslie Nielsen's character. You can't be uh, Guy Caballero. You no. can't, you know, it's, it's hard to invent a new character. Well, this guy is uh, different. He's, he's new. He's sort of um, um, an original. Um, I don't know how... You know, it, I mean, it's me. It's an extension of me. They're all extensions of me. So, well, we'll see if this guy's going to become a uh, classic. Well, the, the thing about uh, <laughs> the SCTV was the makeup, too, you know? Yeah. And I don't know how much... You're not relying on another nose or anything for this guy. No, I use my real nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. It's good enough right now. <laughs> but, well, one of my favorite sketches... But I can't remember what your character's name was in Half Wits, but you had a nose like this. Arnold. Arthur. Arthur. No. Arthur. That was Andrew your name. Andrew Arthur Liggett. That's right, and you were just a total dope. I, uh, well, you know why? Because when we did that sketch, I, I said to Bev, uh, was makeup, or when maybe it was Christine, but um, you know, I said, you know what I want? Because we had been doing thousands of sketches, and I said, I want the biggest nose ever. <laughs> I want the biggest nose that you've ever created, the biggest nose we've ever done. I want to look like I'm all nose. <laughs> and uh, give me the lowest forehead you could. <laughs> so, 
I had a fork. You were an attractive item. Oh, it was a weird What one. time is it? <laughs> <laughs> but the nose, actually, it, that's it a good. Huge. Don't you think that's a good imitation? Yeah, yeah, that's oh, close. Oh. That's close. And your eyes seem to get closer and closer together. Well, yeah, because well, yeah, the bigger the nose, the closer the, uh, the, the eyes The eyes look. appear to be. They were, it was huge, but it kept falling off. We had to keep, you know, because <laughs> it would get sweaty and... And, and droop? Uh, yeah, Very droop attractive. and sag, yes. Um. <laughs> I noticed that Halfwits doesn't get, uh, when Dave uh, Thomas did this book a year or two or so ago, the uh, behind the scenes, he doesn't mention Halfwits at all, and, and I guess it's because he wasn't in it. Exactly, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there are a few things he missed in the book. Cause, because, well, I mean, um, it doesn't matter. There are yeah, lots of good pictures of you. It's from his point of view, you know, and he covered a lot of stuff, but, mm. uh, right, um, that was one of the ones that uh, he, he wasn't in, so um, I, I guess he had no reference for it at all. In fact, we may have even started, that's right, he was gone from the show, I think, when we did that first uh, half with. Yeah, Andrea was in that. She plays Blanche Ray Kellogg. It's <laughs> yes. appalling that I remember this. And uh, Eugene plays Alex Trebell. Yes. And who else? Um, uh, I, I, Marty I, plays that goof in the high school sweater. Right. Uh, and John Hempel. And, and yeah, John eventually took uh, somebody's place, yes. Or did we add him? No, we added him. All I remember with Andrea was, <laughs> she was... <laughs> we had we did one take where she was supposed to climb over the top of the the counter, and she did. And uh, she as she was climbing over, she fell out. <laughs> oh, you mean bits of her body fell out? Well, not her breast fell out. Yes. She just fell out of the right on camera. We had a nice show, so we. <laughs> Did you keep that? We kept that, yeah. Okay. We kept that. that was <laughs> Very <the best>. nice. <laughs> Public humiliation for the actor is always good. Joel Flaherty, he's in Vancouver to do a million episodes of uh, Police Academy, and he'll be back after this break. series or the whatever. Series, the yeah. series, Television. Yes. Uh, now, this is where you're supposed to do a lot of them, though, on TV, you know, when you make... The movies. When you make the movie and then you go to television, you make a lot of episodes. And then you uh, can retire early. <laughs> yes, yes. I was uh, going to play a Canadian legend. You are. Are you Canadian? Or are uh, you? No, I was born in the States, actually. Yeah, that's what I, I thought. Everybody in the world um, thinks of me as Canadian, and I think of myself as Canadian. Except Americans. I get... No, no. They think you're Canadian. Oh, yeah, yeah, everybody does. My, my daughter thinks I'm Canadian. My son thinks I'm... <laughs> So, <laughs> she is Canadian because she was born here. Well, what made you come? Were you from Pittsburgh? Philadelphia. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, yes, Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not very far from Toronto. Pittsburgh, very close to Hamilton, um, which steel town, the two steel towns. As a matter of fact, Tom, the guy that was playing earlier, said he, he met me uh, <laughs> this past winter. <laughs> How soon they forget? In a, in a liquor store in, really? in ha Hamilton, yes. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember if I was outside at the time. Or was he? No, you weren't, were you, Tom? No. <laughs> I, I might have been bumming money. That, that was like one of my low points. It hasn't come to that, has it? No. Yeah, it was up and down, you know, up and down. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. No. Why did you come to Canada? Uh, SCTV, well, no, Second City. We, we opened a Second City up in Toronto. The um, bar? The play, where, there was, where I saw yeah, the beer? Bar. Yeah, the <laughs> we fired. Just, I came up to open up a bar, Maggie, out of the liquor store. <laughs> Let me have another drink. But it was a restaurant and a bar. and uh, Cabaret. We call it a it. cabaret. I beg your pardon. <laughs> and you guys used to get up there and make fools of yourselves, and we people laughed. Yeah, we improvised, yes. And uh, it was a really... We, we came up and auditioned people, and we saw people like Gilda and Gilda Radner and, and uh, Dan Aykroyd, John Candy. They all, all these people, Eugene Levy came, they all... Um, auditioned and, uh, and we were just shocked at the amount of talent you know that was there so we, we got a theater together and made yeah. them them and and then they did it themselves mm -hmm. but i was slinging beer you didn't seem to register that i slung beer then i got fired from that place uh, where at second city yes which one the one on adelaide they no, won the no, fire no, hall, the, fire hall? The, the old uh, fire hall yeah i dropped beer on somebody's head because you, you guys made me laugh Really? So I went, oh, and <laughs> that was the end of me. So was, you were working there. I was working there, but I didn't audition, and I know why. You were the one who was always dropping the drinks, yeah. <laughs> interrupting our scenes. I only did it once because <laughs> I got fired just the once. Uh, but that improvisational thing, does that take a young person to do that? You know, the mayor of Toronto also worked as a waitress there at Second City. Barbara Bar Hall? Yes, she was a waitress at Second City. Isn't that amazing? It, it, I didn't know that. Maybe yeah. we were there together. Perhaps you, she didn't get fired until recently. Were you there the night of the uh, condoms? They had the, the condom uh, distributors there, the convention? No. Oh, we didn't man. say the word <laughs> condom when I worked there. It was, that was the worst night ever. <laughs> but that's another story. 
But uh, this improvisational thing, uh, it's, uh, I don't know whether you can still do it when you're <clears throat> older. Can you? Is it, does it take Not a... Not as well. Is that because you just don't do it all the time? Partially, yes. Yeah. And, and the other reason is you just, uh, you get, uh, your mind just slows down. Your, 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 memory, me. your memory isn't as quick, you know, your total, your recall. You, you tend to lose. You know how it is with names? You no. start to forget names? <laughs> <laughs> Yours I remember. <laughs> well, Maggie, I want to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> you've, been, you've been a great wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit harder. It's a little bit harder. It, um, I tried it, you know, and um, it was difficult. And I understand they did that when, when the SCTV people got together in, uh, in uh, two, two years ago. Yes, here. Here in Vancouver that uh, they improvised uh, with <laughs> kind of mixed results. I wonder. Oh, no, I thought they were very good. Yeah, and, uh, yeah Brett Bambury, he did the... Um, he was the MC. Yes. And uh, I thought it worked very well. In fact, I think they might have, well, not cheated, but that was sort of part of the thing about improvisation is that you do have a bank of ideas uh, and you can adjust them. It's like Maury Amsterdam telling a joke about, uh, tell a joke about a German, I don't know, you car mean, mechanic. Right. A and so he just changes another car mechanic joke to f and changes the right. accent. Yeah, you have a repertory of certain yeah. um, characters and things like that. and ideas yeah you have that as a basis but also you can just you know there are improvisations they're called spot improvisations where you just wing it totally uh with nothing you know you just you're just out there but if you do it a lot if you do it every night you, you get good at it yeah. Yeah. yeah have you ever had another job other than acting uh yes yes i have yes i was um i was uh i worked in a as a draftsman an apprentice draftsman for a while that was really boring draftsman. Was it? yeah engineers and draftsmen there was a strange group of people very uh, repressed um well it's probably just as well because i mean you don't want to get too inspired when you're being the draftsman maybe you could be inspired before the fact before you turn over the drawings to the draftsman because the house will fall down i think that's part of the deal yes and i didn't mean to yeah i don't mean to imply that everybody's uh, all draftsmen i there, there are a lot no, of no. Uh, any draftsman out there watching i'm <laughs> sorry engineers <laughs> the, really? the group i was with was it's strange. a good thing you put your foot in your mouth instead of me doing it which yes. is what happens a lot around here so i did that and i was also uh, in the military i was an air policeman so um uh, like an mp yeah thrilling isn't it well, yeah, how mean were you at that? You see, that's why you're doing the Commandant now. You exactly. They come back to haunt you. Yes, And yes. air police. I've never heard of air police. Well, it's in the Air Force, they're called air police. Mm. You know, in the Army, they're military police. Mm -hmm. And in the Navy, they're called shore patrol, SP. But it's all the same thing, you know, military police. Yeah, but air police, is, aren't they better behaved, the Air Force? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And that's so many years ago, I hardly remember. You know, I was just 17 at the time. Were you drafted? No, I went in, I joined. You were a 17-year-old policeman? Yeah, This yeah. is too terrifying. Who'd pay any attention to you? <laughs> Get out of here, you little creep. <laughs> I never. I gave one traffic ticket in all that time. No, I didn't even give it that. No, I let the guy go. Yeah. That's what you did with traffic tickets? Oh, everything. No, no. You, as a cop, you do everything. You do traffic. You, you know, everything. Carry a gun? Oh, yeah. Yeah. At 17. This is far too mm -hmm. alarming. You were on yeah. Ellen, huh? Yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> One of the better segues. Of the Thank day. you very much. I just, yeah, I have yes. to, you're, you're out of here, so I just thought I would might mention that yeah, before you go. Yeah, I was on Ellen uh, before. Yeah, before she came up. Oh, well, I thought maybe it was after. It, <laughs> it, it, everything is before and after Ellen now. Yeah, isn't it? yeah what was it? What would it be called? Four Closet, BC. I guess it's yeah, <laughs> uh, DC. Before <laughs> and uh, yeah. DC, during Closet. Yeah, during. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Joe Flash. Yeah, yeah, I had enough here. Oh.